Hello and welcome again. Today I'm going to tell you how to reduce the size of the APK build in Unity. So there are lots of factors that affect the size of the APK. First of all, we are going to see how to reduce the size by player settings. There are some settings uh, in build which affect the APK size. So the biggest one is the device filter. So Unity supports uh, two architecture. One is ARM version 7 and second is x86. This is 32 bit platform. So, if you are building for in, uh, in this option which builds for both architecture, then your APK size is going to be double. Okay. So, uh, during the uh, development phase, you should use ARM version 7 unless you are releasing it. Okay. So, if you are going to release, then you must uh, you or you have to uh, build for both the architecture but if you are developing the game then it will be more faster and smaller okay so change it to arm version 7 instead of f80 so right now uh, we are going to build in f80 to show you how much difference it makes the other factor which affects is a api compatibility level so there will be two options one is dotnet 2.0 and second one is .NET 2.0 subset. So Unity uh, included .NET 2.0 subset because uh, there are commonly used and mostly used classes and libraries which are included in .NET 2.0 subset, which are smaller than .NET 2.0, and it also reduces the size of the final build. So uh, in most of the cases uh, or scenarios, this is going to work perfectly for you, unless you are using some complex classes or other .NET 2.0 features. So, after that, there is a third thing called stripping level. So, there are four options. First is disable. So, by default, it will be disabled. So, you should change it to use micro MS Core library. The Micro MS Core library is a DLL which includes uh, lots of use useful classes of Mono, and it there is no need to strip assemblies or strip bytecode. Uh, this is this micro library includes lots of classes which are commonly used, so there will be no need to disable it unless there are some plugins which uh, do not support the MS Core library, or you have to include some extra thing uh, which cannot be stripped. So most of the time, most of the time, this is going to work perfectly. So change it to use micro core library. Uh, if you change this much, these two options going to save you five to six MB of APK size. So which is huge. Okay. So let's build. It's a very small project. So let's see. Uh, we name it a uh, build. Free. So meanwhile, it, it gets there. I'm going to tell you more about the how Unity includes the assets. So uh, there are assets like texture and material are included in build only if it's referenced somewhere. So if you have a texture which is not used anywhere, Unity is not going to add it into the final build. But if you have a texture which you assign somewhere or use somewhere but that material or texture is still not removed okay or you used it as a test or for ex experiment but you didn't remove then it is going to include it in epic and it is going to affect the size so make sure there is no unused assets in it it is about to get busy So now, if we see the size of build 3, it is 16.9 MB, almost 17 MB. Now let's change the device architecture to ARM version 7 and let's build it again to see what impact it makes on size. So we are building for build 4.
So let's see the size of Beam 4 and it is 9.42 MB. So it is almost the half size. So you can see how changing an architecture while development can save you lots of time and memory and also increase your, in, uh, increase your productivity.